Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. Today we're going to uh, use the Sketch Importer plugin. Uh, so it translates some sketch designs to React Studio, React Studio designs. So here I have a simple sketch, sketch file. Uh, it contains three, three artboards and uh, we're going to import to just this login screen and adventure screen here. So what do you need for start starting uh, is to create a empty project in React Studio. Make sure it's open. So this is the project that the designs will be imported. So I go back to the sketch and uh, you have to have the, uh, the sketch plugin installed. If you have it, then you find it from plugins transfer to React Studio. So I'll just select these two artboards and go to plugins, trans transfer to React Studio and select the selected artboards. And uh, we get this warning but you don't have to care about it, it's about the artboard size and how it matches to the screen size. In this case it doesn't matter. So what we have here, uh, we have the login, login artboard imported as a screen and the adventures artboard and there's also a component yeah, that was automatically generated. So I'll show you how these work. Uh, if you want something to be uh, imported directly as a separate component, you just need to need to uh, use this C prefix here. So as you can see, this list item group here it has this C prefix. Same kind of approach works also for the input fields. So here I have a just a white rectangle but it has this input prefix, so it will be translated to the real input field in React Studio. So let's go back to the React Studio. First, uh, let's just rename this app. I call it login demo, and then uh, select the first launch item. Now it's the default empty screen, but we, we can change it from here. Let's change the login. And uh, then just double click the login screen and we can start uh, adjusting the designs. So it looks okay on the mobile size, but it's not really responsive because Sketch doesn't have any idea about responsive kind of uh, uh, layouting in this case. So we just need to create a couple, couple al alignments and it will look nice on iPad and on any other sizes. So Let's start with the background. Just select the background, go to layout, and uh, just check all all edges here. So it will be zero points from all sides, and immediately you can see it's full screen on each side, each screen size. And then uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we can delete, like this username. This is just a text text label. We don't need that. This is also but these are, are already like real fields, so let me call this uh, username and I rename this as a password. Sorry, like this should be the username and this should be the password. And uh, I just select the username field here and it will be an email address type of field. So I select the email address and then put a, some, uh, put a placeholder text there. It will be username <clears throat> and let's do the same thing for password. I select the password field type and add a field uh, placeholder text there. Uh, it looks almost completed but we need to uh, do some some magic for the making this responsive so I had a key line I want everything to be adjust adjusted to the center so it's easy to do it with the key line so click at key line I select the key line and then I can just put it in the middle like that and then just select all these elements here and click align center on key line and immediately everything is 
nicely centered. I could already preview this, but maybe I want to create a other action for the login button. So I go back to the login screen, select this this element here, and go to interact and select when user taps, go to, and then I select the adventures as a target. So we already have a we have a connection here between these two screens. So basically we're ready. We can go test it in a browser. I have the browser window here. I can resize this. It looks okay. These are real fields, so And I can even click this. Uh, we didn't do anything for the adventure screen. That will be the topic for the next episode. There's a list and uh, stuff like that and the navigation bar. But we go through that on the next episode. So here, here was the short tutorial how to translate some sketch designs to real React Studio projects. Thank you for watching this.